All right, you guys. So it is, I believe, week three of me being on keto. Don't quote me, y'all. Um, but I'm pretty confident it's week three. And today is Sunday, so it is the end of week three. I am just now <laughs> recording about my week. I have all the footage from my phone. But I have realized, and you may have realized by now too, like, y'all, I don't think I'm very good at vlogging. Um, because I just don't remember. I don't be keeping up. It's really a lot. Like, I, I commend those YouTubers who are like hardcore, dedicated vloggers because the vlogging game is no joke. Like, it's way different than when I like plan and record. Um, but anyways, so I believe we're on week three. So I will go through my phone. Also, y'all, today's my birthday. <laughs> I look better than this earlier today. And then I definitely look better than this. <laughs> in my um birthday pictures if you have not seen my diy birthday photo shoot video i will link it somewhere up in here or have it in the um description box for you guys to watch um so here's a little snippet of some of my photos that i took um just because you know somebody might be interested in that but anyways you're not here for birthday you're here for keto so okay monday i was in ketosis i did my usual checking my ketones thing in the pe whatever okay i ate pretty late monday i didn't eat my first meal until almost two o'clock um, but that's because on monday i took my birthday pictures so i took them ahead of time because i didn't i knew i wasn't going to feel like being bothered with them the day of my birthday um so anyways i ended up having like an avocado egg salad it was just two boiled eggs um, I think it was only half an avocado and um, I added a tablespoon of mayonnaise, some seasoning like garlic salt, garlic powder, onion powder, um, basically just seasoned to taste. And then I had some pork rinds, I think just regular um, salt and pepper pork rinds on the side. And then, first y'all, I'm not even sure if I ate again that day, did I? Okay, yeah, so then for dinner I had the leftover chicken thighs that my fiance had grilled and then some leftover vegetables. So it wasn't like a real exciting food day. Okay, so Tuesday, check my ketone, ketones as usual. And I was in ketosis, y'all. Sometimes my hand be like shaky in the morning. So if y'all see that thing kind of flapping around, that's why. <laughs> um, and I also ate really late on, my, on Tuesday because I had some errands to run, I had a lot going on. By the time I realized I hadn't eaten, it was like three o'clock. So I went to Starbucks real quick and I got a, um, whatchamacallit, um, this keto drink. Here's a little snippet for y'all. So what was in here, it was a venti iced blonde double shot, um, extra heavy cream, no 2% milk, three pumps of sugar-free vanilla, and three pumps of sugar-free cinnamon dolce. And that was pretty much it. Um, it was okay. I like my drinks to be a little sweeter. So if I did it again, I would add in um, probably a three pumps of sugar-free vanilla. I would add it to like maybe like six pumps of sugar-free vanilla. <laughs> because for me, it just needed some more sweetness. But I drank it. But yeah, I, I definitely added some sugar-free vanilla when I came back in my house. Because <laughs> it wasn't enough. So then for dinner, I had the... Um, the pizza excuse me yeah i had the real good pizza again the real good brand cauliflower crust pizza but this time it was cheese y'all i honestly i don't care what nobody say i don't like it <laughs> i don't like it i don't think it's that good i feel like the pizza needs some more sauce it needs some more flavor I made a cauliflower crust pizza years ago, but y'all, I remember it tasting pretty darn good, but probably because I made it from scratch, I don't know. But I just wasn't feeling it, y'all. I've tried the pepperoni one and not a cheese one. I don't need no more. <laughs> it's not for me. Obviously, we're all different, so it, you might go out there and try it and love it, but the real good pizza, it's a no for me. Um, anyway, so that was how I ended Tuesday. I just kind of forced that down and moved on. So Wednesday came, one of my friends invited me to lunch. So I did go out on Wednesday. So we went to a restaurant and I did have their like lump crab salad. It did have tomatoes in it, but I was like, whatever. Uh, I know tomatoes are again debatable for people on keto. Some people like tomatoes and don't count them. Some people do. 
just up to you personally. Um, when I make my own salads on keto, I don't put tomatoes in them, but if they're in a restaurant salad and I forget to ask, then I'm not worried about it. Um, the salad was good, but y'all was hungry, and I felt like they didn't give me enough meat. Um, but you know, I'm a big girl, so. Um, <laughs> Drinks-wise, I did have two bourbons with Diet Coke, and it was great. I will say, y'all, keto drunk is definitely a thing because your girl got tipsy pretty fast like i was like this is this is running straight through me i was surprised by how fast the liquor was getting to my system but you know i guess when you don't have those carbs to kind of like absorb the alcohol that's just what it's going to do um and i apologize y'all because i hear a lot of noise um my neighbor is doing something in her backyard and they're kind of noisy about it and i'm not using my mic i'm just using the camera's uh, microphone right now because you know i'm vlogging <laughs> But anyways, so what else did I eat on Wednesday? Um, yeah, I didn't eat that much. Y'all, I've noticed over time that I'm not, I'm not as hungry anymore as I was the first week. The first week was awful and I felt hungry the whole time. But as we go into like week three, really almost week four now, I don't notice my hunger anymore. So I had to finish it, my night off that day. I just had um, a bowl of cereal. Um, it was that was it snack house brand the one I told y'all it's okay I'm not really in love with it but it still needs to be eaten right so I ate it um so that was Wednesday okay Thursday check my ketosis again we were still in ketosis and honestly I think low-key a little bit deeper into ketosis um I was a little nervous about it because I have been hearing that if you drink alcohol it might knock you out of ketosis um a little bit but it didn't knock me out at all okay so my first meal was around one o'clock I had a basically like a burrito bowl um, it was just eight ounces of the ground beef some avocado some shredded cheese or shredded Mexican cheese I put the just ranch on there and um, I think yeah a little bit of sour cream seasoned it all up of course and I had my favorite LaCroix lime on the side this is definitely one of my favorite flavors of LaCroix or LaCroix whatever it's called um, I know that's really polarizing a lot of people don't like the flavored sparkling waters but I'm one of those people I, I actually do enjoy them um, most of the time and um, let's see that was Thursday okay so uh, you know I'm looking at my phone so that's why I be having these little pauses all right so Thursday for dinner I had a basically an Italian salad I've had this before and I still think it's one of my favorite meals that I've created on keto so you know with the mini pepperonis and the red onion the Italian dressing and Swiss cheese or whatever it is really good y'all um definitely but definitely in my top top meals um okay so now we are on Friday still in ketosis per usual y'all let me tell you about this waffle right <laughs> so this waffle basically cost me almost my whole day calorie wise because what happened was I had some leftover mix from the birch benders keto brand mix i had some left over but it wasn't a whole lot and i had a feeling that i needed to add some more almond flour because i actually have some in my cabinet but i was like nah it might be all right y'all my waffle iron got jacked up because the ratio was off of you know dry to liquid and so <sighs> It got stuck in my waffle iron. I was sitting there forever trying to clean it out. Anyways, y'all just know it was a disaster. Okay, it was a fail. And so I ended up having to make like a whole new waffle from scratch. Little did I know that waffle would be so many calories because it was like, don't get me wrong, it was pretty good. And it was better than the Birch Benders one, but it was like, I think a cup of almond flour and four eggs and some other stuff you know it, it really did take up a good bit of my day calorie wise um luckily like i said my hunger hasn't been as prominent but yeah y'all i was just like dang oh my throat's getting dry <coughs> <coughs> sorry i don't have my water up here i'm just not prepared um but i'll put the recipe in um, the description box okay y'all i had to go all the way downstairs and get my water because my throat was getting way too dry so like I was saying, so I had my waffle. That waffle did take up a lot of my calories for that day. So the only other thing I think I ate, um, there was some bacon on the side. I think I just had a protein shake. I don't see it in my phone or in my tracker, but I remember just drinking like a protein shake because 
quite frankly, after I ate that waffle, um, it did keep me full, which was good because it took up a lot of my calories, but I didn't eat anything else and really didn't have the need to eat anything else. All right, now we are on to Saturday and I had my green tea spirulina protein shake concoction, which I'll um, send, uh, put that video in here. And then I had, excuse me, a mess. Then I had another burrito bowl, same ingredients as before. And then I finished off the night with ice cream and it's keto ice cream is by rebel so i'll have a little clip in here for y'all and y'all's butter pecan flavoring it was really good i definitely had to stop myself because i was about to go ham on that ice cream like i was really going in and it it was really good y'all i was very impressed by that and i'm pretty sure i got that from walmart so um definitely keep that in mind if you're ever at walmart the rebel brand if you're on keto um, the butter pecan is good. I haven't tried any of their other flavors. I can't speak to those, but I did enjoy the butter pecan. All right, y'all. So we are finally on to today. Today was basically my cheat day. I hadn't had any cheat days. Didn't plan on having any, but since it's my birthday and I really wanted to go to this brunch spot, I was like, I'm gonna get whatever I want. So <laughs> I had this little coffee that they had. It's ice cold brew, had some alcohol in it. I had um, the appetizer, it's called Cinnabites, which is basically like what it sounds like, like almost like little pieces of a cinnamon roll that they fried or whatever with some icing on the side. Great. And then I had chicken and waffles. Y'all, when I tell y'all, my eye was long. I was doing too much. I ate one piece of chicken and half the waffle. <laughs> and y'all see how big the portion was in this clip. Y'all, I... I mean, I just got so full so fast. And I was low-key sad about it because I really wanted to eat it. <laughs> I wanted to eat it. So now I have to try to finish it today because I would really like to start fresh, you know, back with keto tomorrow and not have any, you know, cheap meals in there. So I'm gonna try to finish today. But whatever I don't finish, I'll probably just try to get my fiance to eat. Um, <laughs> but that's it. But yeah, y'all, that is it for this week. I'm going to hopefully continue this into the next week. I can't make you guys any promises about any weeks after that because it'll be getting closer and closer to my wedding. And so I may not have the time to like do this, but if I do, it will be posted. Nevertheless, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, also, if you like my content, if you wanna see more from me, I strongly encourage you and would greatly appreciate it <laughs> if you hit the subscribe button. And like usual, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.